Hey everyone, it's Herc. So there's so many new updates and so many cool things that I've done with today's updates with Project Supremacy V3 that I actually wanted to shoot a video to uh, give you guys the breakdown of these updates. So the page that you're looking at is actually our Trello dashboard. This is where um, you know we communicate with our programmers and our coding team in a really organized fashion. Um, so we have all the, the PSV3 panel features um, and plugin features that we want and then any bugs that are coming up in the panel or um, up in the plugin. Um, we're able to, you know, put those here and, and communicate really, really effectively. So I just wanted to start uh, and show you with the screen, show you that there's a flurry of activity always going on, always making this software um, better, better and better. So today's um, updates are really, really awesome. Um, the first, there's three that I want to cover. The first one is we added the ability to add scripts to your websites, meaning things like Facebook retargeting pixels or Google pixels or and really any type of script that you want. Now, most themes um, have this option, but I mean, why would we want to leave something like that out um, with V3 um, when we're trying to be an all-in-one plugin? So we actually added that. So there's two places that you can add scripts. If you go to any site, and you go to V3 SEO settings, you can see there's a new tab here called scripts. Okay, and on this particular site, um, my, my Bitcoin site, I've actually added um, the Facebook pixel code because I wanna start tracking the traffic um, and adding those visitors that come to my site to my Facebook, to a custom Facebook audience so that I can like retarget them later on with any type of advertising, right? And having the ability to add the script is um, allowing me to do that. So the next place that you'll have the ability to add scripts is right in the plugin, okay? Um, if you scroll to any page or post, you can click on scripts and there's a, another spot for scripts. Now with this particular area, if you install a script here, this script is only gonna be visible on this particular page. We're also gonna add one more option, uh, a little button here that'll allow you to hide the default script because the default script in your plugin will apply that script to every page on your site. But if you have a certain page where you wanna be more specific with a script, but disinclude the default script, you'll be able to do that from here. So um, let me show you guys an example of how powerful um, this scripting is, okay? So I added the Facebook retargeting pixel to my Bitcoin site because I wanted to grow a custom audience on a couple different pages. So let me just load up this ad manager. So you can see here, I, I created a, a custom audience for my site, how to make money with Bitcoin. And what I wanna do is I wanna track everyone in the past 180 days who's visited that site. Now I know all those people are gonna be very, very interested in Bitcoin. So you can see once I added the script, um, Facebook actually will take the last 180 um, days of data and add those visitors into um, my custom audience. So I already have a custom audience of 84,000 people who have visited um, my site, how to make money with Bitcoin. But then more specifically, I added another custom audience for a specific page. How many people have visited this specific page? And that's for one of the Bitcoin programs I'm involved in, USI Tech. And you can see that custom audience already has 2,800 um, people in it. And all I had to do in order to get those custom audiences is go to my site and install the Facebook pixel code and then created a custom audience in Facebook for people who have visited this site. And bam, now I have a targeted list um, on Facebook that I can advertise to. So scripts are a really, really important thing. And as I said, most themes already have them, but because we wanna be a really great plugin, um, we now have them too, site-wide and page and post-wide. So the next thing I did, and this all is gonna tie together and you guys are gonna love this. The next thing that we worked on, guys, is our social sharing, um, uh, the, basically the open graph. So uh, you kind of already saw it, but what we did, let me go to a specific page here. Okay, the same page, this uh, USI Tech page. If you scroll down once again to your um, PSSEO settings and you click on social, what we actually added was a live preview. Okay, so as you fill in your title, your description and an image URL, you're actually gonna get a live preview of what your, um, your share is gonna look like on that page. Now, a lot of people say, you know, they'll fill this data out, they'll go share the page on Facebook and it's it's not displaying right. And we've always said, you know, it takes a little while for Facebook to catch up because they have a cached version of your page. 
Well, there's actually a way that you guys can force that to happen. It's not through um, Project Supremacy. It's actually through uh, Facebook. So if you just go and Google um, the Facebook sharing debugger, okay, you'll arrive at this page on the developer subdomain of, sub, of uh, Facebook. Now, I can take any URL, okay, and pop it in there and then click the bug and it's going to give me a bunch of information. Now, if for any reason, what you're seeing here, okay, now let's do, let me, let me back up. We'll do the USI tech one. So let me just put in that URL, okay, USI tech review. Now I'm going to debug, debug this one. Now, when you debug it, if for any reason, what you see doesn't perfectly match what you have right here, the reason is because that Facebook has a cache saved of your page. So if you want to update it, all you have to do is click scrape again and it will refresh the cache that Google has of your page and it will update um, automatically for you. And that's all you have to do once it's updated and cached. Now you'll immediately be able to go out and share your page on Facebook or on Twitter. Okay. And it'll have the proper open graph information in it right away because things are cached. So if you guys want to force those changes, those forces don't, um, those forces won't happen in Facebook or sorry, it won't happen in Project Supremacy. It'll actually happen in Facebook and that's how you do it. So what I did with all this information, guys, is I, I, I installed my script, okay, so that I could create a custom audience for USI Tech. Then I went to my page. I updated my open graph settings for Facebook and Twitter, okay? I forced um, Facebook to clear their cache so that they could show the proper, um, they'd show the proper image, okay? And then all I did is I went and visited that page, okay, and I shared it. So let me go over to that actual page. Okay, so I'm gonna go to the page I shared that link on, okay. So how to make money with Bitcoin is my Facebook page that is associated to that site. Okay, and there you go. You can see um, as soon as I shared the URL and the way I actually did it was I went to um, USI Tech Okay, I went to the page and I also have a widget for sharing. It's just any widget of uh, social sharing widget. Okay, and I clicked on Facebook to share it. And then it, it shows, um, so here it's showing the wrong stuff. I would have to go and force that um, refresh again. But once it's right, you would. I just shared it on a page that I manage and then I chose um, how to make money with Bitcoin. And then I shared it and what I ended up with was my, um, this post right here. Okay, showing perfectly. Now, the next thing I did um, with, with those updates is I obviously, I boosted this post, okay, because I want people who are interested in Bitcoin to see it. So then I ran an ad in Facebook to my custom audience, okay? I want this ad to show to all 84,000 people who have visited this Bitcoin site in the last 180 days because it's relevant targeted traffic. And I did it all um, by first adding the custom script, second, creating the open graph entry, forcing the cache update on Facebook, then running the ad. Now I have um, a super highly targeted ad running um, with the proper image, with the proper everything, um, all because we added scripting and we added um, the Facebook preview update. So all those, all those things really, really help to uh to get those sorts of things done so those are live now in your plugin um you guys are able to go ahead and do that so the third thing i want to talk about um is our widget um what we did with our our v3 widget okay um right here you can see on this page that if i scroll to the bottom of it okay I have um, right here, I have Project Supremacy supplying the reviews and then I have a pop-up if people want to leave reviews. Um, that stuff's already here. I put that on the page using the short codes. I actually covered short codes on the webinar. But um, what I really want to show you guys is the widget. Um, I have by default the widget on this site. So if I go to the investing page, I have by default the widgets for showing the reviews and collecting the reviews in the sidebar, okay? And it's just a widget. So there you go, review this content. Let me just pause that video, it always talks. So there it is, there's um, the default setting of the site is to show the review collection box and then show the reviews in the sidebar of the site. But if I wanna to go to a specific page like that USI tech page, because it's a, a default, I don't actually wanna show the widget on the sidebar. So we actually created, um, the ability to hide those things within the widget itself. So 
I'm gonna go over to widgets and I'll show you guys how this works. Okay, let me just log in real quickly here. I got booted. Okay, one more time, because I'm cached, obviously. Chrome is, once again, a terrible browser, but I continue to use it for some reason. But there they are. There's my review widget, which is what, collect, which is, what is collecting the reviews. And there's my display widget, which is what is displaying the reviews. And I have it in the sidebar so that it shows on every page. However, with a page like that USI Tech, I wanted to move it from the sidebar into the content. So I was actually using um, short codes instead of the widget. Okay, um, so what you have to do and the new thing with this is we added this um, display type. So you can choose to hide um, this widget as well as in this one, the, re the display reviews. You can choose to hide the widget um, if you're using the short codes. Okay, so you can see on this one, I hid that widget on the USI tech page to collect reviews and then to display the reviews, I also hid that widget on that particular page. So now you have the ability to control where the widgets are, where the widgets are showing on a per page and per post um, basic um, basis. So just to show you guys um, how I was able to add the widgets um, on the page with short codes, I'll just kind of show you that really quickly. Okay, I'm going to go to the USI tech page and I'm going to edit it. Okay, and then I'll show you where I inserted those things. Okay, if I go to my content, you can see PSV3 reviews right here. I'm going to open that up. And all it is, is two very small short codes. Let me refresh this page because once in a while it's a little bit buggy. Let me open that again. Okay, there it is. There's the PS review widget um, to collect reviews. And then there's, the, sorry, that's to, to display the reviews. And then there's the widget to have the box. And um, what that looks like, once again, just so you guys remember, if I go over to this page, okay, and I scroll down to the bottom, okay, there it is. There's the displaying of the reviews and there's the button to collect um, the actual reviews. And now the reason it looks all, you know, nice obviously is I put this inside of a container using my theme and I, I put this nice gradient on it and stuff like that just to make it really stand out uh, and be its own section. So. Those are the three updates I wanted to show you guys. Everything is working extremely well with them all and these are some uh, pretty powerful updates. Well, obviously we have a lot more updates coming guys. You can see a lot of stuff's in progress, a lot of stuff's postponed. So um, we're always updating it, we're always making it better. If you guys still don't have um, V3 and you really, really wanna get it, um, we did open up the launch pricing of V3. Um, you missed the premier pricing, unfortunately, that's already over, but we did open up the launch pricing. Um, and it's actually, the launch pricing is gonna be a little bit cheaper than what we sell um, PSV3 for after the launch. We're still not sure when we're gonna launch yet, but because you guys are Supremacy members, uh, you can come here and watch any of these videos to see um, how PSV3 works. It's a lot of content, it's a big piece of software. It does a lot of amazing stuff. So all the replays to watch how we do everything um, in v3 is here and then if you guys want to get it you can click on this button to get v3 you can see some re um, members that are, have gotten it leaving testimonials but if you want to get it you just click on the button here to get v3 and here is our three uh, launch pricing plans that are released to you guys before we even launch so you guys can uh, pick up any of those so Hopefully you guys like the update video um, and you like the new things. Go add the scripts, go get your custom audiences set up in Facebook, go force those nice uh, open graph sharings with the plugin and you guys will be able to do those cool things that I showed you today on the video. Talk to you guys later.